Our next conversation tonight is with a group of DU students here on campus. We discussed a related issue that deals with speech and deals with disagreement. We discussed whether they feel comfortable expressing their views on campus and in class, whether they feel comfortable correcting misinformation that is offered by their peers, and whether they feel comfortable disagreeing with the prevailing view in class. I sometimes kind of just go radio silent of if it's a situation that I don't fully understand and if there's any amount of risk to it, I even find myself just keeping my mouth shut and holding my head down. I think there's a lot of fear involved in disagreeing with people right now. Um, I think there's an idea that if you mess up and you say something that was incorrect or offended somebody, if you do that once, your social life is gone, your professional career is gone, like everybody's scared of being the next clip that goes viral on TikTok. Um, I mean, even coming into this space and having this conversation, that's something that's in the back of all of our minds. Like, are we gonna be the next clip that hits the news and then we're not able to get a job because we're too controversial? But I feel like having that educational or community standpoint where people are able to discuss what they think and this is very impossible, but to, without the fear of acknowledging that they might be wrong or they might have been misled. But I feel like if we're able to introduce an environment or a community where people are not scared to admit that or are willing to educate themselves in whatever way, that's the best way we can go, really. You're not gonna change someone's opinion overnight. And so like being intentional and making, making progress like slowly, like. I think being able to do your own research first and then have those have those ideas and and know that like you've looked at an issue from every angle and then slowly being able to present that like it takes time you know we're pulling from different groups different perspectives from all of these different places students tend to disengage because there it is such a small community you don't want to be the outlier there whether your opinion is statistically true or not. So students just tend to kind of disengage and keep their head down and whatnot, but that also can kind of lead to resentment. I would not say that they paint a hopeful picture, but I certainly appreciate their honesty.